Today, let's talk about what we look out for when selecting a custodian bank. WHEP is a registered investment advisor. That means we advise our clients, we help them set up their bank accounts, we manage the money on their behalf, but we do not hold a banking license ourselves. So we are reliant on custodian banks who do the custody for us and our clients. So what are the main factors that we look out for when selecting a custodian bank? There are three main avenues that we look at. First, and I would say most importantly, is, is the bank capable and willing to onboard and work with American clients? Not all Swiss banks are willing to work with American clients, and even those banks that do are not always very experienced and don't show a lot of expertise when it comes to that market. So it's very important to us to know that the banks that we work together with, that they understand the US market, that it's a strategic priority to them, and that they also understand all the rules and regulations that come with working with American clients. Of course, we also need the bank to be able to provide a valid and a quite comprehensive U.S. tax statement. And we also need them to speak uh, English very well, to have their financial statements available in English and to just generally be able to communicate in English. Then secondly, what's almost uh, as important or even the same level of importance is how is the company run? So what is the ownership structure of the bank? Is it a family run and owned company? Is it a publicly owned company? Um, what is the certain level of risk that the bank is willing to take? Um, what kind of liquidity and capital ratios does the bank have? For us, we prefer smaller banks that are family owned and run because they tend to have a more long-term and sustainable outlook to business. Um, but of course, they still need to have a certain size for us to feel comfortable bringing and introducing our clients to them. And then lastly, and this is something that a lot of people overlook, is just how is their business philosophy aligned with ours? Do we have a personal fit with the people that work there? Do we feel comfortable with the contact persons that we would be in touch in a, on a daily basis? Because it is a trust business. Um, we need our clients to trust us and we need to be able to trust um, the people that we worked with on a regular basis. So to summarize, I would say those three areas that we look out for is first, um, is there enough uh, expertise and experience when it comes to working with American clients? Secondly, how is the bank run? Do they have enough capital? Um, do they have a long-term sustainable approach to running their company? And then thirdly, do we have a good feeling in regards to the business philosophy of the bank. Do we feel that we are a good fit and do we feel that we will get along with the people who will be in touch on a daily basis?